Hi, I'm Keith. Hi, I'm Sean. Hi, I'm Matthew. And today we're going to prove given geometric statements. Today we'll be focusing on one particular topic in geometry, perpendicular bisectors. Okay guys, so uh, let's look at the given figure and the given statement. The given statements that go with this given figure is that AB over 2 equals AC, ray CD intersects AB at point C, and that angle ACD is a right angle. With this given, uh, we are asked to prove that ray CD is a perpendicular bisector. Hey Matt, what is the difference between a bisector and a perpendicular bisector? Well, Sean, a bisector is a line segment or array that intersects another line at its midpoint, or a point that divides the line into two equal parts. A perpendicular bisector, on the other hand, fulfills the conditions of a bisector, but must intersect the midpoint at a 90 degree angle only. Well, so now that we've defined and understood what we're trying to prove, let's go back to the statement and let's prove it step by step. Well, to make it easier for us, we should come up with a strategy for proving. Yeah. Since it is stated in the given that angle ACD is a right angle, it already fulfills one of the conditions for ray CD to be a perpendicular bisector, since a right triangle is formed by a 90 degree angle. So all we need to do is prove that CD is a midpoint, right? Yeah! This is also implied in the given statement AB over 2 equals AC. Alright, let's start proving. The first step in proving the given statement is to list down the given. In this case, the given is AB over 2 equals AC, ray CD intersects AB at point C, and angle ACD is a right angle. The reason for this is always given statements. Following that, we can now state that AC plus CB equals AB. This is due to the segment addition postulate which states that if D lies in between B and G, then BD plus DG equals BG. Next, we can now state that AB equals 2AC. This is due to the multiplication property of equality, wherein we multiply both sides of the given AB over 2 equals AC to get the value of AB in terms of AC. After that, we can now state that AC plus CB equals 2AC due to the transitive property wherein we can substitute a whole side of the equation for a term equal to it. Next, we can now state that CB equals AB. This is due to the addition property of equality wherein we subtract the common value of AC from both sides of the previous equation. We can now state that C is a midpoint due to the definition of a midpoint. A midpoint is a point on the line that divides the line into two equal parts. Lastly, we can state that CD is a perpendicular bisector. This is due to it fulfilling the conditions for it to be a perpendicular bisector, as stated in its own definition. And there you have it! That's how you prove a perpendicular bisector with the use of two well proof. We hope that you guys learned a lot from this video. 